I've had a lot of requests to see if WD-40 is a suitable substitute for gasoline. Will WD-40 work in a small gas engine? Now, there are a lot of questions that people have regarding WD-40. Will it work as a replacement for starting fluid? Will an engine actually run on it? If it does run on it, is it going to cause carbon buildup? Or is it going to cause some other sort of problem? Anyway, I don't know what's going to happen, but what I do know is we got this small engine, a new engine that we've never used before, so let's get this project underway. So what exactly is in WD-40? I went ahead and downloaded the MSDS off of the website. It contains between 45 and 50 percent aliphatic hydrocarbons, petroleum-based oil, less than 25 percent, LVP, aliphatic hydrocarbons, 12 to 18 percent, less than 2 percent surfactant, and less than 10 percent non-hazardous ingredients. So the flash point of WD-40 is 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius. So this is a lot more like diesel than gasoline regarding the flash point. So it'll be quite interesting to see how this stuff works inside of a gas engine. Since this engine does not have an adjustable jet, I don't want to drill the jet out to make it larger. I am confident that WD-40 will require a greater fuel mix if we're going to get this thing to run. So what I'm going to do is use a piece of metal to act as a choke, and I'm going to go ahead and install this real quickly, and then we can adjust the fuel flow uh, by using this as a choke. Okay, most of these small engines are set up with an engine kill switch as well as an engine brake. So what I want to do in order to test the power of this engine on WD-40 is to have an engine brake, but I don't want it to kill the engine. So all I'm going to do is disconnect the kill switch, and then I'll be able to run this engine with just the engine brake applied. The way an engine brake works in these small engines, there's a lever on the handlebars of the lawnmower, and when you release the handlebars, what happens is this brake is applied, and it produces a lot of drag on this flywheel to quickly bring the, the engine to a stop. So the instructions on the WD-40 can say to shake well. So I want to make sure I have the right mix of WD-40. I'm going to shake this up real good. And then I'm going to add six ounces of WD-40 to this container. And the reason I'm measuring it out in this container is if this does not work, I want to be able to add the exact same amount of fuel. So six ounces of WD-40 and six ounces of gasoline for a total of 12 ounces.
Okay, so just finished running this engine for a while on WD-40. What I want to do now is add some gasoline and run the engine for about 10 minutes just to burn off any sort of the oily substance on the inside of the combustion chamber so we can get a really good look at it. Well, WD-40 is not a very good source for fuel. A whole lot of smoke, not a whole lot of action. But anyway, I had a lot of fun with this video, so thanks to the hundreds of people that suggested I do this video. Please keep those suggestions coming. I try to keep track of all of those. I'm keeping notes on which ones folks are recommending, and I'm trying to get to those as quickly as possible. As usual, just want to say I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. If there's something I can do better, please let me know that as well. Thanks again for watching the video, and I look forward to seeing you next time.